Hello, continuing our discussion today of the various types of anomalies on Earth's surface. Now moving on to sets of parallel lines. So last time we discussed long straight lines, now we're looking at parallel lines. And this thumbnail is somewhere in Bolivia. And first up, let's check out Scotland. Um, actually, in this video, uh, I'll just be going through all the images and no Google Earth tour in this video. Uh, that will be in subsequent videos, subsequent installments of this series. So uh, the first place we will look at is Scotland and I'll try to make most of the main points I want to make in this video. Um, and then the Google Earth tour will be um, just in more depth, I guess. So Scotland, uh, I've already showed in my Mature video this uh, basically a significant portion of Scotland is all uh, cut up with these parallel lines or marked up and it's called Mature and apparently it's due to uh, many years of human um, uh, like deforestation and stuff like that. Uh, I don't buy it. Um, we will go take another look at that. So Scotland, Northern England, or much of England, and Ireland as well, just that general area has this, uh, it's not, doesn't look the same exact way everywhere, but um, it's just goofy lines and patterns. So Northern England, can't really see anything from this altitude, but uh, as we zoom in, we see plenty of sets of lines, multiple orientations. If you were to just pause on this image, or maybe this one, uh, you would see just uh, a shit... Ugh, sorry, the scroll gets me sometimes. Um, these in multiple orientations, and this is not all farmland like in a lot of cases there's just nothing going on here so it's just lines lines upon lines upon lines many orientations of parallel lines and again the idea is that it's part of some goofy terraforming which is part of some algorithm which res um or which used some algorithm uh, which had fairly goofy parameters or fairly varied, variegated. So there's some parallel lines. And we also have the stone circles in this area and stone walls. So that's, I've, in my opinion, that's part of it or part of the, the same uh, program, just my opinion. So here's a closer look, all these parallel lines, multiple orientations, blah, blah, blah. And we will do a scroll around here in the live tour in a later video. And yep, stone circle, uh, strange mounds and earthworks. Uh, it's just like stuff like this, like this rectangle. And of course, all these parallel lines and obviously it's intermingled with uh, modern human activity and I don't have a best guess really for the date of these lines like when I think it was done but anyways um, this here we see this line like angling so I think stuff like this is important to notice these ones curving up, curving away, and I don't necessarily know that that means or that that proves any point that I'm trying to make. I'm just observing, observing little details like this, like so. That's, I guess, if that's part of this weird terraforming deal, then that's in. These are like just um, little case studies in uh, the wonkiness 
or the the derpiness this um, the goofiness with which it makes its patterns and uh, the little hiccups and variations that uh, that it utilizes <clears throat> okay so we will tour this area here's just another look and I grabbed five or six images of this area just because it's so the affected area is so vast we also have these like stone walls and ridges that uh, line the landscape and they don't seem to serve much of a purpose and often they're labeled as like Roman walls or whatever stone circle <clears throat> but I think it's gibberish or like backdrop you know like someone's doing a fun <clears throat> having some fun on earth and they just print out a backdrop to play their games whatever games they play perhaps that's just one possibility that seems somewhat likely to me and then uh yeah the the patterns and the stone walls and stuff that's part of um well it's probably serves multiple purposes but uh part of it is just filler like a backdrop or a context or richness to you know to make a rich story world a rich um uh, game board okay so yeah this is uh, northern england still and you see these if you look closely you see these uh many mounds and ridges everywhere you see the wavy parallel lines here and I could have done a whole separate topic on wavy lines because there's plenty of those around um, but it's all just variations on the same thing basically just lines and working over of the land here, here you see a bunch of it and these houses for scale and you might we might at first assume that all this activity is their work or the work of uh, humans just typical human activity over the ages, but um, I I don't buy it. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm trying to think of a better explanation for why I don't buy it, uh, or a better way of phrasing it. Because I know my personal instincts aren't a lot for you to go on. <clears throat> but, hmm. Well, the scale of it and the, uh, the um, how it's, it occurs on places that aren't currently being used. And also the, the weirdness of the layout and all these abandoned, just miscellaneous shapes. Um low walls and mounds everywhere it's a basically just a gibberishy shit show okay uh, more miscellaneous rectangular things uh, the parallel lines of course these ones uh, more wavy in nature and here's some straight ones more here parallel lines and Stone walls, of course. Don't uh, don't just write this stuff off as former civilizational stuff. I think this is like this was um, made as uh, like a deceptive false history, <clears throat> which uh, was just like plopped onto the landscape at some point, or possibly continuously along the entire trajectory of our history. So maybe this was all done at one, once, maybe it was done in multiple um, uh, abrupt stages, like uh, every couple hundred years or so, or maybe it's just a continuous ongoing uh, creation of goofy patterns. I'm not sure which seems most likely to me, but we should consider all of them but yeah lots of parallel lines okay Ireland similar deal there's some mature type patterns there 
And also, I like this example. We'll take a look around this area in Google Earth. There's these parallel lines, just like uh, very fine, well-defined, crisp uh, cross hatching or see what I mean like this I don't think you can make the case that this is a, a natural pattern uh, especially with the, the right angles and stuff oops sorry but uh, so is it modern mm, maybe but I mean what are they doing <laughs> just making making lines mining maybe who knows uh, logging I guess but we'll we'll measure this in Google Earth and we'll see how big this is and uh, what what we will try and make a guess as to what these are and you know my guess it's just weird terraforming weirdness but uh, yeah there's that we will look at that Maine and the, the entire East Coast basically of the US has parallel lines like this so we'll go over here same type of deal basically and another look at this um, Tuckahoe management wildlife area wildlife management in New Jersey just as one case study there's plenty of areas that look like this but it's just a shit show of parallel lines and I thought it would be appropriate for this episode uh, multiple orientations just, uh, I don't think it's traditional uh, water management or um, drainage. I think this is gibberish and or mm, I don't know, something with a sophisticated algorithm for some strange purpose or for multi purposes. Yeah, and the idea is you can see this all along the east coast of the U.S., similar stuff. So, yep, yeah, Russia, we have these lines here. This was a, a little tougher of an example because, or a little less strong, just because there's a lot of modern activity in this area. Um, but again, the, the scale and the general look of it is indicative to me of something potentially weird the patchy parallel lines so we will look at that it's a pretty similar thing in Bolivia just the whole countryside is uh, cross hatched with these parallel lines and I think I saw some of them popping up as modern in um, in Google Earth and obviously that's just to be expected um, for I mean there's just a, a bunch of human activity in this area but there's also, I would say, more uh, strange patterns than, than are explainable by traditional human activity. And we have looked at this area already, but we'll take another uh, brief-ish look there. And just nearby that area in Bolivia, here's another vari <clears throat> excuse me, another variation, I guess. On parallel lines this is like wavy dots so uh, we'll see a better look in the next uh, image but we have the scalloped kind of oddly segmented land these uh, weird stone walls I think or like ridges and then here you see it just angular weirdness and then these lines like like this Obviously, you see these these parallel, or mostly, or somewhat parallel, um, wavy lines, fairly parallel, dotty lines. So what are they? I think it's just patterns. <laughs> to be honest, just patterns. Drawn dicks, basically drawing, um, doodling according to some fancy uh, set of principles or algorithm. Okay, uh, so I was looking for like 
the way that these dotty lines kind of interact with the what is presumably the more natural landscape and like I was looking for clues where like the dots kind of merge with the natural landscape in like a continuous way um, I couldn't really find any great examples like see this kind of trails off and then we have some more dots right here obviously the resolution's not good enough to draw any conclusions but like we here we have some more randomly arranged dots or stones or whatever these are and then um, it's and then here it's more natural so uh, and here we almost have some faint indication of it the dottiness dotty um, so I'm just keeping an eye out for and advising you or asking you to keep an eye out for like where the um, transition is between the artificial patterns and the natural ones and to try to find examples of where they seem to blend together. Okay, so we will look at that. South Africa, we already looked at this place pretty thoroughly and much of this is modern or most of it. Uh, however, some of it like this, these parallel lines, um, it's not, I would say it's not 100% certain that these are all modern and this is in a valley called Deception Valley. So I'm, I'm still wondering about these ones, uh, but plenty of parallel lines for sure. Russia, these, we already looked at this area pretty extensively. Here we have the, the parallel lines. See, this is what I mean by like a, a feature um, transition. Like this one's a nice clean straight line, this one right here. And then along that line we have these, these bumps and dots. And then here it goes to a straight line again. Uh, same thing like right here. So it's linear for a while and then it's dots and where else? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what these dots are, like little mounds or spoil piles or whatever from dredging perhaps. And there is a fair amount of modern activity in the area. Uh, but even these like faint parallel lines here, I'm considering that these are part of the terraforming weirdness <clears throat> and not just conventional logging. Let's see. But yeah, rows of rows of dots and straight parallel lines is what it is, whatever it is. <laughs> Okay, Louisiana already covered pretty, or already gave a, a good tour of it in Google Earth, but these parallel lines still rub me the wrong way a little bit, like even here, see these, these faint parallel lines everywhere, uh, certainly right here, uh, possible remnants, even like this edge here, possible faint remnants of weirdness, and this image, we get a good look at it. So right here, we see some of that parallelness. And over here as well, you see these parallel lines uh, marking up a significant portion of the landscape. And another really good look at it here. So these uh, right there, these kind of curving here, um, presumably from some type of terraforming maneuver, in my opinion, and even that, these, you see it right here, faintly, but it's there, these certainly right there, you see them going this way, and lots of parallel business. Cool. 
here. This one, the only place you really see it is, oops, I'm sorry, uh, right here. And it's right next to um, man-made stuff, so that should be considered. But we do see these faint parallel lines here and potentially over here as well. Maybe, maybe right here. A lot of a lot of it's very hard to make out, and obviously plenty of oil activity going on in this area. So here's another one. This is like a weird castle or old fort just chilling out here, which I would I'll touch on in a future episode. But uh, okay, so I think it was right here I wanted to point out. So just faint straight lines, and oh, also right here, if you if you look like from here to here, you see uh, faint indications of some type of like linear orientation, um, and like even right there, maybe again very faint stuff, and possibly even here. And some sometimes you're not going to see what I'm talking about, but because uh, it's, I mean, it, some of it's very faint, like legit faint sauce. So you either have to squint or, you know, control zoom if you have a Mac or whatever, or, um, or just let your eyes adjust. Um, yeah, I probably don't even need to say that, but. Um, yeah, possible parallel, and anywhere else you might see it here. Okay. And multiple different looks to this parallelness. This is on Louisiana still. So there's this. This could be man-made or modern, but it's just worth noting in this conversation. All right, so moving on to China in the... Uh, video previous to this one or two videos previous we covered this area and the almost right angle orientations of these uh, parallel uh, streaks of rock or ridges or outcrops whatever you want to call it here's a closer look at one portion of that and certainly I could see that being natural, this as well. In some places it looks just a little bit more mechanical, um, like right here maybe, uh, like mechanically precise almost in some spots. And then this area, this is quite a ways away, but still in China. And this one has quite a regular, fairly straight parallel look to it. Doesn't necessarily mean it's not natural. But we will look at this in Google Earth and get some good zooms going. Uh, crap. Okay, Syria. This one, I think it's northern Syria. I just want to point out these large scale parallel streaks, which could be due to like winds or, you know, some type of weather current, something like that or geological flows, or a former flood, or any number of um, past catastrophes, natural disasters, what have you. Um, but there's just so much other weirdness in this area uh, on a smaller scale, and uh, we'll take a, another look at that. I think I already touched on this area, but lots of stone circles and uh, stone walls and weird formations and artificially uh, chunked, uh, chunked up or gouged land or worked over. Lots of different patterns. And then we have these to consider. So the large scale, um, hundreds of miles long streaks are a thing. And uh, there's a chance that it's artificial rather than due to a natural disaster or an artificially induced natural disaster, of course. 
um, Cameroon. So this is a, an African country and there is lines like this. This is another one that's pretty faint. You'll have to kind of take a, a couple looks at it. And I'll give you a few different angles when I cover this in Google Earth, but it's just these uh, not entirely parallel necessarily, but these straight lines and the whole landscape is crossed with these uh, these straight lines. So I'm wondering why. Uh, and then Mauritania, of course, I already covered this area pretty thoroughly, but I just want to reiterate that there's plenty of parallel lines in this area as well. And in this image, we also have a couple other things going on. We have this like path or um, uh, groove up the side, whether natural or artificial, it's something. And uh, then we have what might be this angular, especially right there, angular feature. Uh, and then like, it's, it's as if it went like up here and then like went down this way. And we see some lines there as well. And some up the side of this as well, potentially. Uh, the main thing I want to point out is like um, this line, this line, and this line. It's obscured by the place mark a little bit, but it's like three little parallel tick marks. This one kind of goes all the way he to here. And then you see it kind of continue like that, like curves and, uh, and maybe something here as well. And there's a chance it's obviously uh, tractors or something like that. Uh, uh, elsewhere in Mauritania, just the fine regular streaks like this, like especially that one, nice and fine. Um, this is one I could see being natural or artificial. Uh, it's a, uh, I have trouble defining my terms myself just because what we're dealing with could be <laughs> previous to what we consider natural. You know what I mean? Maybe our version of nature is somebody's will, but that, I guess that's another discussion. Um, yeah, plenty of parallel lines. And last image in this video, Lu uh, near Lu Lu Lucia, California, we have these faint parallel lines up the side of this um, hillside here and we will look at these and there's multiple orientations here um, none of them are really jumping out at me I think I might see one here like that and uh, and then all all along this coast we have some like really linear straight gouges just like this like up the the hillsides like again like like we see in Mauritania just like these linear straight gouges up the cliff side so there's a lot of those along this coast in California so we will look at that in Google Earth in later videos okay that's it for this one thanks for watching and have a have a day have a day